reading choice board. Which reading one choice board. We reading choice. The lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling, keep pushing on, keep rolling, rolling. Hello, when they listen, but I told him, told him one more time. Your favorite MCs, bronze or silver. These vibes here are golden, golden. Cards on the table, there's no folders. But bars are the clubs only. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lila Marai. If you're new here, welcome. I focus on mom, fashion, and lifestyle content. Today, you're gonna come along with me. Um, we're just gonna spend the day together because I have a lot of errands to run, different things to do, different stores to go to. Um, we first are gonna go to Barnes & Noble because, you know, when, I don't know if you guys did this, but when you were younger, you used to like go to Barnes & Noble and spend the day there, do like homework there, or I don't know, get some Starbucks. Well, I haven't done that in years, like years. And there is a Barnes & Noble near me. Um, so my oldest, Devani, has um, like homework to do. Basically, it's like a reading challenge for September. So I'm like, we're gonna get this done. We are not going to back down from a challenge. We're gonna read. And I feel like Barnes & Noble is the best place because I can get my Starbucks and um, Devin can read and then Devani can like do all the things that she has to do for this challenge. So we're gonna do that. Um, another thing, so I worked out this morning and I wanted to just tell you guys that I, feel like I hit a plateau. So if you have any suggestions for me, I would appreciate them because I feel like I have lost weight, right? But right now I am at a very steady weight. I have not changed weight in about three weeks, um, but I've dropped inches and like different clothes are fitting, but my weight has not changed. And I don't know what that means. I don't have my next meeting with my nutritionist until next week. So if y'all know, what I'm like, what I should do, if I should just wait it out, if I should change something, let me know because I'm very new to this. Um, but I know that this is like a long term lifestyle change, so I want to make sure that I'm doing things right and I'm, you know, I'm not declining in any areas that I shouldn't be. Like, I'm not changing my diet, I'm not, you know, not working out, I'm still working out the same, I'm still very much so, um, determined to like see this lifestyle change through. So if y'all have any suggestions for me, let me know. Um, all right, so I'm ready, but the girls are not. I'm gonna make breakfast, or Devani's gonna make some pancakes, I'm gonna help her. And then we can like get the show on the road. Okay, bye. <laughs> to go I just finished the dishes I don't know if you guys are like me but I cannot cannot leave unless the dishes are done put my shoes on um and I want to show you guys my sunglasses that I got there by the brand air I mean how cute they are so cute um if you guys have been following me for a while, then you know I just love this band. They're super affordable. They're like $39. Um, but, of course, I linked it for you guys if you're interested. Just click the link in my bio or, um, or in my description box or on the screen. Okay, I am ready to go. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that Dante's car is in the shop. 
He has the BMW and it's always in the shop. Basically, I hate that thing so much. I hate it so much. So, but he had a gig. Um, he had to work in a different city. So he took my car, my truck. And so now I'm driving the loaner and the loaner is very small. It's also a BMW and I don't like BMW cars. I just find them to be very frustrating. Not easy to drive. I just feel like they're just, I, I really don't like them, period, point blank. I shouldn't even have to explain myself. I just don't like them. But I'm kind of stuck with it. And so, yeah, the, I'm going to be driving the loaner today. I'm going to switch my bag. Um, and I don't have, like, my phone holder or my camera holder in there because they're in my truck and they're in Austin. So we're just going to have to see y'all whenever we get there, okay? We're going to Barnes & Noble first. And then we are going to do a little shopping. Okay, I'll see y'all later. did sign me up for their rewards points. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for any point system. Um, but we're gonna go to H&M now. What do we So, uh, H&M was the best and the girls started to fight and argue. So I just pulled them on and said, let's go. We're getting out of the store. And don't ask me for nothing else. And now I'm hungry. So I guess we're gonna go to Rosie this because that's just how I'm feeling right now. So I think I'll just have some fish or something. But. Oh, something that you have on right now. What what type of clothes do you have on, Devin? Help me. Brown. What what do you have on top of your body?
for like cheer and just me working out wise. Um, so we're gonna see what they have. show you everything that we bought from six what a weird name um today shopping wise was a little bit of a bust i will say that um it's just hard sometimes i mean if you're a parent i think that you would understand and you might be able to relate but it's hard to shop with kids sometimes because they just start doing kids stuff and i love my kids i really do but they just do certain things like they start bickering and fighting which is very normal i get it however when i have like i'm on a mission and I'm, i want to like get things done quick i really can't do that with them sometimes and they're really great like kids they're they're very responsible they listen but sometimes you know they're just kids and i have to just like cut things short change of plans you know like i have to move very quickly at their pace almost because it's just it doesn't always work and today was one of those days that it just did not work they just were bickering fighting nagging asking when we were going to leave even though i was doing things for them um so yeah i didn't get to shop for myself and at this point i'm just going to wait for dante to come back and then i'm going to have my day because i couldn't do that today um, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to save myself the mental stress and just go home. I'm just going to go home. So I will show you guys what we got, um, from the sporting goods store. So they actually needed some workout clothes because, um, they're in cheer and in tumbling for gymnastics. The only thing is that at their gymnastics gym, they don't let them wear anything like with the midriff showing, um, and so like uh, sports bras and um, workout shorts, those are not, they have to have something over it, right? So the sports shirts that I got were a little bit longer. They're more like t-shirt length or like shirt length um, like this. So it still goes all the way down to where their little shorts are. But it's like still very thin, cool type of material. So they're not sweating by the end of their like workout or by the end of their class, you know? So I got this little pattern, excuse me, for both of them. It's like these little cute little shorts, right? And this little tank top, I thought that was perfect. So cute. And then Devin got a little hot pink set. Now this is like shorts and a little sports bra. So for this, she definitely does have to wear something over it if she's not practicing um, for cheer. Excuse me, I just need to okay. So I got her like one of these little dry fit shirts. Let me find it. To go with the little pink set. Super cute. It has like a really good feel. The brand is DSG, which, you know, I don't even know what that brand is. <laughs> it's just what they picked out. Um, okay. And the price, you know, kind of expensive. The shirts were $20 and then the shorts were $18. It's a little expensive. But anyway, um, Devani got the black set. So black shorts with a little tank top to go with it. Can't see that. And then she got a white tennis skirt. Cute. And um, this top to go with it so they have very similar um things picked out obviously very different sizes and then you guys saw that i was trying to debate between like what um crossbody bag to get for when i go to the gym and i picked out this color i thought it was perfect for fall and i really like it so let's just hope that i'm gonna like it in the long run um but i have a lot of cream things and i felt like i wanted a different color maybe like a darker color to go with it so i felt like this was the best fit for that so yeah this is what i got um okay the girls are hungry oh also speaking about being hungry what was i thinking 
eating razoos. Like, the, I guess I was just having like a moment of frustration and I was hungry. I hadn't eaten anything. I had my matcha latte this morning for breakfast and then we just kind of left the house. They had pancakes as you saw, but I hadn't eaten anything and that was really my bad. I should have, I should have eaten something, but I wasn't hungry. Um, and by the time that, you know, it, it, it got to like a very frustrating point of the day, like I had done all this stuff and I wanted to like shop, but I couldn't. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. I'm just going to eat anything. And the, the closest thing to me at that time was Razoo's, literally like walking distance from where we were. So I just had it. I mean, I did have salmon, but it was very, very, very heavy. And granted, I did work out this morning, so I felt like I kind of deserved it. I've been eating very healthy. And of course, like I eat, I don't have like a very strict diet that I stick to. I want to be clear about that. I have healthy choice, healthier choice. I make healthier choices now, like on the daily. Um, that wasn't the best choice for me to make, but I'm going to have those days and I have to be okay with that. And it's like ridiculous to think that we're not going to ever you know, have a bad meal or like have something like comfort food or have something that like a dessert that's really heavy. It's ridiculous to think that. Okay. And that's where people really like go wrong is thinking like, I'm going to change my diet and I'm never going to eat these things. No, allow yourself to have those things. Okay. Don't overdo it though. Okay. I didn't overdo it today, but I definitely felt that it was like not my normal type of meal, so it made me feel a little bit sick. And so I'm not hungry. I'm very, I still am very stuffed. It's hours later. Um, I'm just gonna keep drinking my little water in my Stanley cup. Um, and yeah, like I, I, I have no desire to eat anything else. But they want some more food, so I'm gonna go make something for them, and then I'll come back and figure out what else we're gonna do. You've been reading it, okay? Let me. Let me show everybody what you're on the page nine. Chapter me, two. Oh, okay. Well, let me show what you, what you guys got. I think they would want to know what you guys got. Okay, so the girls did buy a book. I did have them buy a book. Okay, so Barnes & Noble review. Maybe I should start there. Um, I haven't been back into the mirrors, and I thought it was really great. Like, I thought... You know that we just kind of picked out books as you saw for her to read and we have a oh go get my phone it's in my purse in my office please um i thought barnes and noble was you know the same as it's always been it was kind of like weird to go back to a store like that especially when i used to go when i was younger in high school <laughs> spend some years um and so yeah so they we went straight to the kids section they have like a really great section and they had like this um, at 11 a.m. they had a um, read like read with me time, like a story time. And so one of the employees was just kind of reading to the kids. She read like five books to them, which I thought was really cute. And Devin really liked sitting and listening to that. Okay, so this is what the challenge looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that there. So it has like different things. Um, for example, it has like read a book, read a book you don't think you'll like. It has read outside, read a biography of a female, read an informational book. And so I just had her go through, pick a couple of um, topics and then when she's done reading it to check it off of her list. And then at the end I had them like choose a book that they wanted to buy. So Devin chose the this Peppa Pig book it's so cute and it's like a pop-up book so you're gonna hold it up for me thank you so it has these little cute little pop-ups and then it has a flashlight of course and it has a let's see what's your favorite part this one right mm. with the bats this one wait no it's back here yes Ooh. This oh, way. okay. So she can show. <laughs> I told her that she it's can put her light in there. Yeah, then... let's see. So that should, at night, you'll be able oh, to see, see the there. little bat in see your, on your ceiling if you shine it through. Well, anyway, that was hers. And then Devani bought um, Are You There, God? It's Me and Margaret book. So yeah. this was actually on her 
her um, reading choice board. Which reading choice board. We reading choice board. <laughs> reading choice board. Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> So it says, read a story that has had a movie made about it. Or so. that could also be, um, uh, I could maybe check it off for two things. Either that or I could uh, do, um, read a book about a female. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I could check off both So, of So, yeah, so she, this is obviously a chapter book. It's a lot. A lot more pages than what she was expecting, I think. It has 25 chapters. You're going to finish it in 175 years. No! 175 years. Oh, no, I'm not. Sure. Um, and then I got them these cute little magnetic, um, what are these called? Um... Bookmarks. Bookmarks. <laughs> what is mind. wrong with us today? It's a bookmark. I but they're super I cute. Um, um, that one says, you are magic. Uh, the one in my book says, um, my page. And then some say, I love books. And stuff like that. So anyway, so that was the adventure at Barnes & Noble. Tell me why we ended up at Target. And um, I don't really know why I'm here. I think we're coming here for popcorn, so let's do that. I love pajamas. I just don't think this would fit me. Like, I feel like this material just is not, I don't know. I can't decide. I'm usually a medium in these satin ones, but I don't know. I don't know. It's so cute though. Like what, <laughs> how in the world can anybody shop like this? Like how? So annoying. When I tell you how annoyed I am at my Target, like I'm so frustrated at the store here. I'm so annoyed by it. So I legitimately have just left and came home with my little popcorn and I'm just gonna have time to myself because why are y'all so dirty? Like hire more people. I don't know what y'all need to do, but that was filthy and um, mm -mm. nope. So this is where I will be in the movie theater and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.